Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to clone yourself using Sony Vegas Pro. Um, there are ways that you can do this in Sony Vegas Movie Studio or Platinum, but for this specific way of cloning, you need to have Pro because it requires masking. Now, there is a way to do it in Movie Studio and Platinum, but I'll get to that another time. So anyways, let's get started. Um, you're going to need two clips, and both clips should have the same camera angle, so don't touch the camera, just hit record and leave it. So I'd recommend you use a uh, like a tripod or stand the thing up on books or something just make sure that the camera is completely still it's very important the first clip should look something like this your character should come in through the left and sit down or stand up or whatever so he'll come in from the left and then he'll exit from the left exit towards the left sorry okay and then the second clip is almost the same thing he just comes in from the right sits down and then exits towards the right so yeah, that's basically it. So just have two clips like that. Make sure that the camera is the same throughout both shots. Just use a tripod. It'll help you a lot. So yeah, just have two clips like that. So now uh, you're going to layer them on top of each other, as I've already done. So track one should uh, have the actor coming in from the left, and then track two should have the actor coming in from the right. Let's go to the top track, and then go to the event pan and crop tool. In the bottom left corner, let's go to mask and make sure it's checked. Let's uh, hit our anchor creation tool. And uh, let's just uh, scroll this thing through so that we can see where our actor is. So right here, we're going to make the mask like outside of him, so it's going to be like a box. So, okay. So just make a mental image where it is, because if we do it right now, it's going to create a keyframe. So create a mental image where you want the mask to begin, and then pull the scroll thing back so that it doesn't create a keyframe. Okay. Now go back to mask. Let's create a box just like this. It's going to go completely outside of your video as well. So something like this. Now let's go to the feather type and hit both and make a small feather just so it blends the two uh, uh, clips together. I'll just make it about 4.0 and now it should work out correctly. Okay and it did work out. It's pretty easy. You just need to mask and feather. That's really it. I'll do a RAM preview here so you can see it really well. Uh, just give me a few moments here. So as you can see, both clones are in the video preview. And they both sit down. And, yeah. Don't really know what else to say. But that's about it. So, thanks for watching, and see you later.